Hello everyone, let's begin with a new chapter, The Little Match Girl. It is written by Hans Christian Andersen, a Danish writer. He is well known for his fairy tales. Andersen had a very unhappy childhood. And much of his stories reflect the sadness dealing with loss and death. The Little Match Girl is one such. It is set around Christmas. The story tells of a little girl who, unable to sell her matchsticks, dies of cold and hunger on the street, even as people are celebrating the New Year's Eve. Let's start with the chapter. Now there's this little girl. She's on the streets trying to sell matchboxes on a chilly evening when it's snowing. She is not even wearing proper clothes to protect herself from the cold. She had her mother's large slippers on, but she lost them on the way. She has tried to sell matchboxes throughout the day without any success. Now this little girl is shivering from cold and hunger as against the whole world which is celebrating the New Year's Eve with gleaming candles and delicious food. Now instead of going home to be scolded by her father for not being able to earn even a single penny, she sits down between two houses to protect herself from the chilly winds and snow. According to the author, this little girl is a very beautiful girl who is not meant to suffer. But destiny has written something else for her. When the whole world is celebrating New Year's Eve, she is suffering from cold and hunger. She sits near a wall and lights a matchstick to keep herself warm, which is momentary. But the matchstick makes her have a vision. Though the day had been miserable for the little girl, who lost her slippers, is barefooted, head uncovered, yet with each matchstick that she lights, she is hoping for more and more. First, a table full of food. Then, a magnificent Christmas tree with thousand lights and then the nearness of the dead grandmother who loved her the most. The little girl pursues her dreams and tries to make her wish come true with each matchstick she lights to eventually succumb to death because of freezing winter and hunger. When people found her body in the morning, leaning against the wall, she was still having her rosy cheeks and smiling face, as if proclaiming to the world that she has achieved her joys of the world, even though it is in her dreams. The warmth of love can make one achieve wonders. It is that warmth of love that the little girl desires or any individual desires in this world. It is that warmth of love which the little girl desires in the circumstances that she is being thrust into. And at the end of the story, we see her leaving this nasty, cruel world and going with her grandmother to the other world of eternal joys. 